Hey guys, welcome to episode 38 of Tony Career Mode. In this episode, we will have two games and also a Youth Squad monthly report and some monthly scouting updates from our scouts. So the first game in this episode, we'll be taking on uh, a Champions League side. They're sitting in fourth at the moment. We'll be taking on Roma away from home. So this is going to be a very hard game. Uh, so I put out my first team and we, we knew we'd have to be at our best to beat them. And the first chance would come in the sixth minute as we get a throw in. It's tackled, but Deander wins it back using all of his pace, cuts in at side, smashes it on his left foot, and we get the lead in the game. Absolutely brilliant stuff here. We're 1 0 up, and wow. Under eight minutes gone, and I did not expect to start this game off so far like that because this season um, we've had one of the best defensive records in the league, but also a relegation um, scored. So if you like, if you had the league table based off of who scored the least goals, we would be in relegation because we just haven't scored enough this season. And when that happened, I was just very happy and a bit confused to be honest. But uh, we would have another chance in the 34th minute as Viola whips in towards Bojinov. We could have gone tuna up, but Bojino put it just wide. And in the 42nd minute, Giussi lets fly here, and it hits the bar. But don't worry, because Bojinov is there to pick up, and he slides the ball into the back of the net, and we go 2-0 up. So just before half-time, if Roma went into half-time 1-0 down, they probably think, OK, this is not going to be very hard to come back. But now we're 2-0 up. Uh, we go into half-time with all of the confidence. And it was a good goal by Bujinov, really poaches instinct to get inside there and score his sixth goal in Serie A. This total is slowly but surely going up. That's nice to see. And in the 67th minute, we would have a chance to make it even more as Danny Narsing chips over the ball to Driussi. It's cleared away. Bojinov goes to strike. He's brought down in the box, and we get a penalty for a chance to make it 3-0 here. Bojino went to shoot and Mykon got in the way and it's a stonewall penalty and Riossi would step up. He's our penalty taker. Would he make it 3-0? Of course he would. It's Roma nil, turny 3 and some of you guys were probably like, oh yeah, you probably switched it back down to world class, but I haven't. This is on legendary as well and this is absolutely brilliant. The turning away fans, you can see there they didn't expect to be 3-0 up away at Roma. And the Roma fans, you bet they were booing already. Yes, they were. Sebastian Driussi gets his seventh goal in the Serie A. He's looking better. And in the 88th minute, they would have a chance to take the um, icing off the cake. As Rio has got a problem with Doombia, it's back in towards Doombia. And they scored to make it 3-1. So instead of plus three goal difference, which is brilliant, it's plus two goal difference, which is still very good. And yeah, that's kind of the icing off the cake. No um, clean sheet for Brignoli. And well, it's still a really good result as Seadu Doombi gets his 11th goal in the season. He's an absolute beast. And in the 90th minute, we would have a chance to make it 4-1 as Cochise tackles two of the Roma defenders. They were getting a bit of stick from their manager from doing that. It goes down the left-hand side, whips it in, it's flicked in the air, and Driussi gets a chance to volley it, but eventually they get it away with three headers, and that is full-time. Roma won, Turnley 3, absolutely brilliant performance by us. Salif Dander got man of the match. They did have more shots, more shots on target and more possession, but even though they did have all them stats, we definitely still deserve to win the game. And the next game in this episode, uh, as we are now in the top seven, just overtook Milan, will be against Palermo, who are probably expected to be a bit higher in the league, but they are sitting in 12th place, not had the best um, of starts. Well, we are kind of are uh, quite far into the season now, 25 games in, which is really good. I think I said 25 or 26 games in, and we've made a really good start. In the second minute, they would have their first chance. This Dybala gets on the ball, gives it back to Kochev, Back to Dybala who lets fly, but luckily it goes at just wide of the post. And in the 17th minute, Toraniello will give it to Chochev. Back to Toraniello, down the right-hand side, shrugs off Mechirillo, whips in the ball towards Dybala. And unfortunately for us, they do take the lead 1-0. So I hadn't actually, when I recorded this, I hadn't played Tony Grimo in a while. I played um, the Roma game about four days differently to when I played the Palermo game, which is kind of a mistake on my hands because I've been recording loads of Black Ops 3 beta videos. Go and watch them if you haven't already because they are a bit of fun as Paola Davala gets his fourth goal in the league uh, this season. 33rd minute, they would have a chance to make it 
uh, Tunelers, Palermo get inside and Lazar probably should have done better there. And in the 69th minute, they would get another chance. We get to have our first chance of the game. Toraniello uh, gets on the ball, scoops past this man and somehow put this wide. I don't know how he managed to put that wide, but he, I know he should have scored. And unfortunately, we do lose at home at 1-0. Really disappointing to score three away at Roma. We can't score any at home to Palermo. We have a, a monthly scouting update from Finland. These scout m monthly scouting updates have been so rubbish. Um, Alberto Matthew will be out for six days. That won't affect us in our next game. Also, we have a youth score monthly report. We see four players in there. It's the 1st of March. In two months, they will all have the May boost. And hopefully, they will look better. So I'll try and promote some more players before then you do actually see me. And sorry not promote um sign some players in the youth academy you do see me sign one from the italian squad report uh sorry monthly scouting update here um aniello aldiero 69 to 93 potential looks really good also we reject some players of the norway norway one not norwegian one and the italian one so we are saying eighth in the league milan overtake us once again so if you did enjoy this episode of turning career mode leave a like and i'll see you for the next one very soon